Hi friends, it's Allison. Welcome back to AJ's Inspired Life. Welcome back to a flip through in my creative daily journal. This is August of 2024 and it's it's a little bit past August of 2024 right now. <laughs> And uh, I have not even opened this journal for a bit and I forgot to flip it and I don't even know how much is done. So when we do months like this, um, whatever's done in here is done. Unless sometimes I've left myself like a little sticky note that's like put this in or it's like something I know I have. But um, if there are days not journaled in here, there are days not journaled. So here we go. The cover is made from a pillowcase, a quilted pillowcase that I stuck a piece of cardstock in. It It's like um, stiff enough, but still soft. I really like it. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Okay. So uh, what else about this little gem? We folded some paper and I just tied it in with this ribbon. It is like no binding. You can tell right there. Uh, it's taken, it's taken a toll on some of this paper. So this is probably not the best way to bind a journal, especially when it's this thick, but it completely worked out great and I love it. So we could, we could go back and kind of actually bind it with a three hole punch or something, but I am simply not doing that. So, um, I had just this tied on and I had the other piece of it that I was keeping it kind of closed with and I decided to go ahead and just tie it on. So I tied it on to the same knot um, to, to keep it tied this way. Okay. So it is a very, like the most simplistic journal you could make. Now um, it's a little bit because it's tied there. I should probably loosen it a little bit. Okay. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, you know, I have been challenging myself with a item of the month and it is an item that I put on a list um, just randomly out of my stash. And I want to encourage myself to look through my stuff a little differently and reach for different things. So every month I've been choosing an item um, to include every day on my pages. And for August, the item of the month was embossing. Now, some of these are harder than others. I'm gonna try and get you situated a little bit closer and in here. Um, some of these are a little bit harder than others because yeah, I mean, embossing takes a little bit. And if you don't have an embosser, you know, I, it, it was just a list for myself, of course. And so then everybody is welcome to play along. But I did not make the list um, thinking that everybody has an embosser. So um, I understand some of you don't. And we talked about other ways to emboss and like some things like that if you want to play along. I hope you play along. I encourage you to look at your stash and see what you're not reaching for and, um, you know, try it. So anyway, I embossed my envelope for the front here and in the, um, oh, see, there's a little, there's another little embosser that I have. That's a squeeze thing that you put little tiles in and you can spell things out. So we'll probably, I don't, you know, I don't know what we'll do with that. We'll, I don't know. We'll include it somewhere. I'll do it when I turn off the camera. Okay. I used mostly scrapbook paper in here. I did mostly scrapbook paper in here because I'm trying to use my stash. So I guess ideally, if you really wanted this to be even, you would almost cut some of the papers a little bit longer and some of them a little bit shorter because the ones that have to go all the way around on a one signature, obviously, you know, spend a lot of time on this binding, but we're not going to do that. I love, I love the mismatched kind of junkiness of it. All right. And I get that there's a little glare there. So let's see if we can get through this month together. All right. So this is August of 2024. So the first day, um, <laughs> yeah, we took my daughter's dog to Vetco, which I'd never knew they had. It worked out super well. It's by Petco. And like once a month or twice a month, depending on where you are, they have vets come in to give shots and give stuff. And it was like super affordable and really well run. And I was really really, really pleased with that. Here is the um, wrapper from like the patch I use um, or was using, you know, for pain. Um, here is my embossed paper for today. It's actually braille paper and I just backed this with it. It's a cut out of a braille book. Let's see here. So August 1st, I guess we turned in our votes. Let's see. It was hot. Uh, the gym. Oh, 
went to the gym at 7am. Always, it's always a love hate relationship. Wonderful bre- breakfast. Oh, with our um, dear friend, uh, my daughter and I went together and met her for breakfast. And then um, then took Rue and Whiskey to the vet co for vaccinations. We went to get his claws clipped because he's been um, really painful on one of his claws and he will not let us clip it at this point. But we got there too late and like you had to be there at least a half an hour before they close. And anyway, it was far too. But anyway, um, and then my husband went to the dentist all day to have more work done. He was like in the middle of kind of a procedure. Oh, see, here's a picture that we're missing. Uh, at this point, I'm probably not going to go in and, and pull it. Um, I guess I will make a note. Um, uh, let's see, eight to vote pick. I thought I printed that actually now that I'm speaking it, but regardless, um, my daughter and I took her dog, uh, and a return back to Target. Oh, that's right. And we saw, oh my gosh, we saw some of her friends who she hadn't seen all summer. We're getting we're getting ready to go back to college. We've looked everywhere for specific things for her for Rush. And um, I mean, malls and expensive stores and Nordstrom's and Macy's and blah, 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 blah. And I kid you not, um, we found a pair of shoes at Target that she can wear. <laughs> I was like, it was like one of the last things kind of on our to-do list, right? We Anyway, uh, I believe we mailed our ballots this day. And so here is my embossed item for today. This is a wax embossed um, seal. And then, oh, yeah, so I was cleaning and packing and Rue found an old coupon. So she was cleaning out her car and she had found this like old coupon that, yeah, from Montana. Very cute. Okay, so woke up today. We took whiskey, yeah, to get his nails clipped. He was limping pretty badly. It was really tender and sore. It was like kind of split. And anyway, he won't even let us near it. He did great. He wags his tail. He runs in, and then he the guy clips it. And like I'm not I'm not exaggerating. Like five minutes by the time they take him back and bring him out, it was insane that he clipped all of his nails, and he's fine. He walked out like he was fine. I was like, he's so dramatic. <laughs> Um, we got out the old soda stream. Rue wants to take it to college. And I said, will that make room for my ice cream machine that I want? No, we're not getting an ice cream machine. All right. Here's my embossed item for this day. I really love, this is one of my favorite embossing albums. And, um, I had printed some of it or done some of it on red. And so just cut out part of it. So, all right, this is the third, uh, worked all morning on garage and happy mail loaded the car with all the donations. It feels good to get rid of things and organize. My husband spent, uh, many hours on Rue's car. Um, like every crack in carpet, getting ready for the trip, sending her back to school. He is amazing. And my daughter packed and went through boxes today. And then at night she went out with her friends for sunset and ice cream at the beach. I said, last days of sunshine over here. Oh, look at this dog has our heart. Um, look at that sad face. He, you know, he wanted to be out with us. We are all out in the garage and loading cars and cleaning cars and doing all this kind of stuff. And he's not one that can stay where we need him to stay and not run off. And we have no fence. We have no, uh, anything here. And so, we had to tie him to the car. Look at the sad face. And Rue's like, that's how he got me at the pound <laughs> with that sad face. So I just put whiskey supervised while we cleaned and uh, he looks so fat, so sad. And then when Rue went out, um, he didn't want to go in his kennel and fell asleep on our bed. Yeah. I tried to put him in his kennel and he gave me that same sad face. I was like, can't do it. And so he fell asleep on our bed. Um, so that was just a tip in that I made there. And then, oh yeah. So still having warm, um, weather was 84, which isn't like uh, dramatic for most of you. I know, but it's pretty dang hot here. I just put, um, so hot today, spent half the day in the garage and half inside whiskey's feeling better. Thank goodness. Here's a little, um, note Rue ordered some jewelry online. Um, and so that was the little thank you note that came with it. Let's see. And yeah, embossed. Okay. On the fourth, let's see what we have. So this is like some, I don't know, a little scrappy tape or cluster or something. 
when I have all my pieces left over from the month, I tend to make little things like this. So that's just a little piece of that. Oh, this is, I know, I know what it is just by looking at this thing. Um, this is Sunday. We went for a walk with our gym crew. They had a big um, church like music festival, if you will, downtown. And they were setting up mm, music festival, maybe the wrong word. Anyway, a service, but um, with all live music and everything. And so they had their cards out and stuff. So I grabbed this and... Yeah, ran all the last errands today with Rue. All right. Yeah, great walk with the gym crew. Came home. I had an impromptu call with Melissa and Carrie. Um, worked on getting my stuff packed. And then it says, oh, I did something different today. I must have got a frap at the coffee place. I normally get like a hot coffee. I must have gotten a frappuccino. Anyway, okay, this is Monday. We went for sushi at our sushi restaurant because that's what we do as our last goodbye, like, family dinner type thing. Uh, Rue made blueberry muffins. Let's see. Rue made her dolly, dolly muffins for her last morning together or our last morning together. And they were actually really, really good. Uh, we will buy them again. So by this time we'd had like the brownies and the muffins. And then, oh, I mailed five happy mails today. I was going to write who I guess I could do that maybe eight, five happy mail. I mean, obviously they've all been opened and received by now, but anyway, that goes in there. And then I just said, oh, I did not sleep last night. I texted coach and canceled the gym. I went to give blood for the doctor, um, took car in for regular service. I need tires. I just put, ugh, not today. I thrifted and packed and paid bills. And then my flight was canceled. Um, we went to sushi and then we watched, oh, Concrete Cowboy was the movie we watched. That was very odd. I know I talked about that when I made this um, page. So the next day I'm supposed to leave for Charleston to help my boy move in. And because um, of Hurricane Debbie spawns damaging tornadoes in South Carolina ahead of expected catastrophic flooding access across Southeast. Really bad storm. Um, all the emotions today. Um, yeah. All right. So Tuesday, <laughs> see the little airplane, see the little airplane. I had put it on my page because like I'd already booked the flight. I feel like I'm going to go right. No, no, I'm not going to go. So if you know, you know, um, I had to cancel. I just crossed it off. Right. So I put staying at home today. Thanks to tropical storm Debbie. Here's a picture of it. I know we are blessed and safe and I pray for everyone touched by the storm, but I really want to go see my boy and it's hard to have him there dealing with this without one of us there. All right. This is actually my embossed piece and I'm kind of sad because it's actually flat. If you listen, it's corrugated. I corrugated it with my corrugator machine, which I consider embossed because it has, right? Um, but it yeah, it's flattening out. It's very interesting. All right. This was the morning count um, of medals for the Olympics. We have the Olympics going on. And I put the flip side is I get one more night with my girl. We had family dinner and TV and couch time since she and uh, my husband leave early in the morning. She's busy packing and ready for school. But there's a heavy set of emotions in saying goodbye. So there's, <laughs> there's my girl and, and whiskey on the couch. All right, the next day. Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Look at that. I inked this and you could see it wasn't dry, obviously, and it came through. Um, <laughs> my husband and daughter and whiskey left this morning on the road trip to Tennessee. So she transferred from University of Montana to Tennessee. And um, so, yeah, that was kind of crazy. So I didn't even write in there. Let's see if I have it all in here. Uh, yeah, my blue eyed team drove all day and drove right by her old stomping grounds. This trip holds a lot of emotion and as much about the physical journey as the emotional one. And that's all there is that day. I don't, I know I was home. I don't, I mean, I didn't do anything else except check flights and check their status. So, um, yeah, so I don't know. Big day, big, big day. This is, um, seashell embossing down here that I added to that. And I put this love, I, this, this says like love languages to me. And if you're familiar with the five love languages, 
um, my husband's love language is action or deeds, you know, and like without a doubt, he is a doer. And I just thought it spoke. Um, I just thought it spoke about, you know, him and showing up for our kids all the time and making this trip. And we had to really figure out what was best for our family and like who to go with which kid. And I mean, I ended up, I, I went to both of their, but like who to take her, who to drive. Cause if she and I had driven, we would have left like Saturday <laughs> and taken our time and done the hotels and stayed the night and, you know, gun and stuff. Cause I can't drive like he can drive. And so, um, anyway, so he and Rue, um, had father daughter road trip time and got her off to college. Pretty cool. Oh, see, okay, here's another one. So I'll add it. I'll add it over here. I don't even know. Um, this is crazy because I finally got to fly out Thursday. So my flight was canceled again this day. Um, this day I finally got to fly out. And as I was flying to from Washington to South Carolina, and my husband and daughter were driving to Tennessee from Washington to Tennessee, they our flight, like our flight and their car ride overlapped. And my husband was able to figure that out and like take a picture. He like timed it so they would be there. It's crazy. It's crazy. And so he sent that picture. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I finally got to Charleston and there's, um, like a little printout, um, yeah, it was crazy. So I love when you go through the airport, they're telling you like, get your real ID. I don't have mine yet. Excuse me. So I have to do that. When I got to my son's apartment, it was like minimal, like just two boxes. Well, we had already brought things in by this point. He had nothing and he'd already started school. Um, it was horrible. He had like a plastic bowl and a plastic fork that he had gotten from um, like takeout and he'd been using that. And then he had like two outfits that he was able to go to storage and grab like in the front of it because they have to wear dress clothes. I mean, it was crazy. We were exhausted. So I flew in. Um, my neighbor took me to the airport. Oh, my God. In her Maserati. I. Oh, my gosh. I. We. Yeah. It's just so amazing. It was so thoughtful of her anyway, because I was supposed to leave two days earlier. My husband was going to take me like all the kind of stuff. And then I needed an air, a ride to the airport and it was early. And because of all the cancellations and everything, we have a um, public transport. I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's called the transporter. Anyway, that comes to our town. And so you could get a ride to like where it picks you up and it takes you to the airport for like completely affordable price. Um, it was booked because of all the cancellations and flights, everything had just gotten pushed. So anyway, she had to give me a ride all the way to the airport. I felt horrible. It was like six o'clock in the morning. Anyway, um, got there. We, my boy picked me up. We headed straight to storage and we got two loads done, two full car loads done, um, and unloaded to his apartment. And then we ended up ordering Domino's that night. Um, and there's a picture out of his window of his new apartment. So, because, um, the next day his sweet girl comes. So, um, Friday the 9th. Oh yeah. My look, it's crazy. My husband and daughter and poor dog, poor whiskey. He did not get all of his walks and everything on these. They made it to Tennessee by Friday. Crazy. They stopped at Bucky's, which I've still never been. Um, my husband had been there, but Rue had not. And what fun. They drove um, by the house, which was not ready. They're supposed to move in the following day on Saturday. Um, multiple calls to management. Multiple calls. I mean, the people were still in the house this day. And it's college students. So I'll leave it with that. Um, crazy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So Friday, um, my son's girlfriend made it. Her flight was delayed he and I had been doing storage all day. I had been doing storage. He had class. And then after that, we went together. We'd been making runs and we took the final load. It was so hot. I can't, you can't see it. The photo is like fuzzy because of the, uh, what, you know, the hot, wet, the hot wetness of the South, the precipitation. Oh my God. It was horrible. Um, 
we went to, they have, so they live in this really big apartment building that is like, you know, relatively new. And on the first floor, they have businesses, right? So they have a Domino's on the first floor. They have a Japanese sushi restaurant on the first floor. So we ordered sushi and teriyaki from downstairs. Oh, and they have an electronic hostess. It was very weird. I've never seen anything like it. Um, she wasn't there, but, but she was real. It wasn't AI. It was very strange. Um, yeah. So we'll see. Um, this is the tag. Yeah. So this is the tag. He had to be out of his storage. Yeah. By the ninth, he had to be out by the ninth. So actually the day before, but they gave us like 24 hours extra because of the storm and because no one could get stuff out. It was like really nice of him to not charge us a new month. Um, yeah. So anyway, this is the tag that from the storage. All right. So this is Saturday the 10th. And um, here is like a picture. It's not. Um, oh, let's see. What did we do for embossing on this page? Did I do embossing on this page? Oh, yeah. Up here. This is all embossed up here. Okay. On this page, this is the corrugated. And then here is also um, embossed. So this was move-in day for Rue. Uh, a few parents made phone calls. There's five of them that live in the house and a few of the parents were there, uh, as well as my husband and not happy, not happy at all with the management and the situation. And so, um, lo and behold, uh, it was ready on Saturday, sort of, uh, my husband and, uh, one of the boyfriends and one of the other dads and like whoever else like helped the people move their stuff out, like literally move their couch, literally move their stuff out of the house. And then they cleaned, um, the entire house. So they canceled the cleaning fee. Um, it, it was a nightmare, but my husband had to leave this day and he, we were panicked. Cause I was like, our girl has to like, she starts rush on Monday. She, ha it, she can't be homeless in Tennessee when neither one of us are there. That's just like not an option. So anyway, she got in, he got her all situated, her room. I mean, just crazy. So I said, after lots of calls and angry parents, the kids were able to move in. They weaved the cleaning. So the parents cleaned the house was left in pretty bad shape. Um, I'm happy Rue likes her new roommates and they advocated. And then there, there they are. There's the five roommates and the two dogs. So sweet. And then this day in South Carolina, we worked on their apartment all day long, like unloading all the boxes and trying to get storage stuff situated in the closet situated. And then we were looking online for like couches and dressers and oh my gosh. And so many of them like didn't work out. Um, yeah, it was crazy. So my husband caught a flight home. Um, we went to tacos. This place was the first place that he and his like best friend roommate freshman year ever like actually went on their own, like a restaurant or whatever. And, um, it's one of the first restaurants we went as like roommates, families, if you will, once we got to know people, um, it's like a little taqueria stand. They have a really cool, um, patio in the back and it's really good food anyway. So we ended up eating there. Um, and so they have this sign that says, you know, buy one, get one free margaritas. And I rarely drink, but, um, his girlfriend was like, well, I'll drive. You can have a margarita. It's like, okay, cheers, you know, and like, here's to my son and whatever, like you guys moving in, blah, 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 blah. So he has one and I have one and we get to the end of the dinner and the waitress is like, oh, are you guys ready for your other margarita? I was like, oh yeah, no, no, no. Like that's, you know, fine. And she's like, oh, you can't split it. I was like, of course not. Like, like I'm an idiot, right? Because they wouldn't have that smoking of a deal. I, <sighs> yeah. So anyway, so he had a second margarita and I had mine and then I poured it into my to-go cup and I took it to go. Um, and I left it for them. I froze it in the freezer, um, because I can't drink two margaritas. My God. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I took the kids for tacos. Yeah. It was buy one get. Yeah. Anyway, took my second one home. Yeah. So that was Saturday. Um, okay. So I put this little band aid here just as like fodder for the day because in their apartment complex, like lobby bathroom, they have um, Band-Aids and they're in the cutest little boxes. They're like from Target's. I swear they're called Wellies. That could be in my brain just from yesterday, but regardless, um, the sweetest little Band-Aids. So I took one because it's a good idea to have a Band-Aid in your purse, especially when you're moving and everything else. But then I didn't use it. And so I put it in here. 
Uh, okay, embossed on that way. Uh, Sunday the 11th, let's see what's embossed. This piece back here is embossed. And this is a piece of box from one of their boxes, right? So I just took off, you know, the end part and use it as a pocket. My girl sent a picture of she and her two roommates. Um, the girls all live in the house. One boy lives in the back unit, which is attached. And one boy lives upstairs in the um, upstairs unit, which is attached. So, yeah. Uh, I just put, I got a sweet pick from Rue today. She and the girls, I love that they're getting along so well. And uh, my love made it home safely. Thank goodness. He like did the overnight from Saturday to Sunday. Oh my gosh. My son and gr his girlfriend found a couch off Marketplace today. We had to rent a U-Haul to get it. Um, and then his friend Dylan helped us move it in. It barely fits. It actually doesn't fit. We had to reconfigure it. Like it's a, it's an l shape barely, barely fits, even though they measured it. Um, yeah, but kind of crazy. All right. This is Monday. So the boy, um, had school. So, um, I took, uh, his girlfriend out. We had, um, one of my favorite places to go there is called pliables. And so we ran errands. We got some stuff for the house, like all the, you know, the target run, the Walmart run, the Marshall's run, all that kind of stuff. We did that all day. And then we picked him up after school and took him out to this place called Berkeley's for dinner, for his birthday dinner. There's my embossed sheet just like stuck in there. Not really anything, but I thought it might show through here, but it doesn't really. Um, so took him to birthday dinner. Yep. Oh, I got to drive my son to school today. <laughs> so sweet. And then we ran errands. Um, then we had pliables. Yeah, so yummy. We went to celebrate the birthday. We were going to go down to the beach, but it was just like too late and he'd always wanted to eat here. So we went here. It was very, very good. Came home and packed leave tomorrow. I've enjoyed my time so much, even though I'm exhausted. <laughs> and then the Mighty Mighty Roo um, started Rush today. And so this was, this is the week schedule of Rush. And um, so I just put on there. So today was philanthrop philanthropy round one. Yep. She started Rush, invited to eight of her list of 10. She's feeling confident and nervous. Um, she sent a cute outfit of the day video to the um, family. I wish I was there, but she can do this. She only has one house today, so it's nice to have a slow start. So, yeah, super. So they had three days of uh, philanthropy, and she had 10 or eight houses to go through uh, for those. I think she had one and two and five or something. Anyway, so, yep, exciting, exciting. All right. So that's that. That's the 12th. And then this day is actually my son's birthday. And, um, and it was sad to have to leave. Um, but we got to celebrate, you know, the night before. And so I put the big picture there and I just put until I see you again. And then I got a little postcard and here's me. I rented a car, but because of the craziness and thank goodness I got there first because the place was completely packed. There was like 20 people in there by the time I left and not, no one's happy. Not one person was happy. And I had rented a whatever kind of car and because for the price, right? But no, they have nothing except vans. And these people are not having it. I'm telling you, they were so mad. And I'm like, I'll happily drive the van. And so, um, yeah, his girlfriend drove me to the rental agency. We dropped off after we dropped him off at school. Um, she had a job interview today. I got a minivan since it was the regular cars were done or taken from the storm. I had crazy driving, crazy driving on my way to Tennessee, like through major storms. It was nuts. Um, yep. Through a crazy storm. And then Rue and whiskey picked me up that night. And then I put this lion thing here because uh, my son's a Leo and I put my Leo turned 23 today. Yeah. Oh, making me cry. They're so big. Um, it was sweet. Mm. Yeah, it was hard to leave on his birthday, but like timing wise, it was like what we had talked about that would work. Um, anyway, it was fun to like drive him to school. <laughs> Sounds so corny. Um, here's whiskey and Rue picking me up. <laughs> yeah, so Rue had two houses today uh, for Rush and then she came. And we headed back to the house to meet the roommates. 
and I just put a strip there. So what did I do embossed on here? Did I not emboss? <gasps> what? Are you serious? Um, oh, I might have counted that I did. I'm so sorry. Okay. So when I did my video on embossing, this is actually embossed with glitter. So like if you do stamping and have the embossing ink and you sprinkle embossing powder on it, it becomes raised with emboss. And this is embossed. I had a panic there for a moment. Okay, here we go. August 14th is Wednesday. Um, although I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, there it is. I'm starting to panic now. Um, she had rush and she had chicken salad chick for lunch. They brought it in for all the girls, which is insane. But this is one of my cousin's favorite things. And when we went down to Georgia, she had us pick it up and we went to, you know, have lunch with them and everything. It was very sweet. So uh, she brought me home this little wrapper, this cookie and this wrapper I put in here. So I just cut a card down. It says, trust your journey. I made a little tag. That's all it says. There's no writing on that just to back that. It's obviously a journal spot if we want it. This is her actual um, bracelet. It says um, all access pass panelinic. Um, the girls need that to get on and off the buses and to get into like the entire village. So, oh, this was February and June's Lydia's. <laughs> so I often, uh, when I do her prompts, I, I often miss the week. It's the first week of the month and, um, I will put here, uh, I, I often miss it, but I do like to do them. And so I often spread them out across my month. Okay. So that's what I've done. Um, so this is Wednesdays. It's a Wednesday prompt. And it says, if you were a fantasy creature, what would you be? And I said, oh my gosh, I said, I would be an invisible creature. I don't care what, like a little fairy, a big thing. I don't care, but I would be invisible. And I, <laughs> I said, I would give anything to be with Rue today and be able to listen to the conversations and be a part of her journey through Rush. Um, it's scary for her. It's, a, it's so different. I mean, these girls, there's thousands of them. And, um, and I did it, um, but my experience is different, you know what I mean? And I just would have uh, loved to have been a part of like hearing the conversations and hearing the experience, right? Just being a part and being able to watch her through it. So it's really one of the only things, I mean, I know we're not there for everything, but you know, my kids both playing sports and doing their things. It's like, we often get to watch them as they go through these processes, not not the interviews necessarily, but anyway, um, I thought it was a great question. So I used it that day. I would definitely be like an invisible person and like be able to see what she was going through. So here's a little piece of paper. It just says, follow your heart. I just think that's my genuine, genuine message throughout the week to her is just follow your heart, like follow your heart through rush. Like it will work out. So, um, yep. So she had five houses today. Delta Zeta, Pi Phi, Zeta, uh, Delta Gamma, and Kappa Kappa Gamma. Uh, yep, Rue had five houses. This is embossed, if you can't see that, for sisterhood round. Um, she had chicken salad for lunch. Yep. I worked on getting things for her house, running errands into the thrift stores. So I'm now doing, like for her house, what I was doing for the boy, right? Except they have, well, three girls in the house. And anyway, but they need so much stuff. So, you know, we're making the list in the kitchen and I'm running off to Target and to Walmart and to the thrift stores to find things and to find things for the couch and to find things for the, you know, anyway. Um, so I did that during the day while she was busy and then waited for her. This is embossed, this little daisy right here. There wasn't much to write here. This is a fun pocket that I really like and it's not, you know, actually being utilized, but that's okay. And I put uh, Rue had sisterhood round today. She got all the houses she wanted. She only had one today uh, to start with. So again, it's a nice slow start. She had errands. We had errands. We went to like four stores. Oh my gosh. We went to like four stores to work on this craft project. Oh my gosh. It was a lot. We were both. Is this Thursday? This is Thursday. Um, this is the night we both had a little like meltdown. It was time to take a break. And um yeah, tonight she worked on her room and I went, um, that's not even true. I did not go to Hobby Lobby. I went to Home Depot. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby like five times earlier in the day. So I'm sure that was on my brain. Um, but yeah, I went to Home Depot to get her.
to get her wood um, to cut for the top of Whiskey's cage to make it kind of like, I don't know, a table, if you will. And then my husband left tonight for Chicago. He's off to see the boy race. So we're kind of switching, switching roles, if you will. All right, here are her houses that she got back today. Super excited. Um, I went really cool thrift store. If you are from, I don't know where else they have it. It's called Carm. And um, yeah, it's a chain of thrift stores. Anyway, I found great things, but I went to like five of them. I'm not even joking. It was, they had great things, but everyone had a little something different. I did go to Chick-fil-A. Um, ooh, this is, Yeah. This is the day, this is like, uh, oh God. Okay, I ran errands today, I got plants. They had these big planters out front and so I filled them up. I planted all these plants for them. I had whiskey tied up on his rope in the front yard and he saw a cat and he ripped that thing right out of the ground. Those things that you screw into the ground, you know? He ripped it off, it wrapped around my leg. I, this is like three days later actually, or more. It's. It was so bad, it's a permanent scar on my ankle. Like I talked to my dermatologist about it. I, I, it is horrible. It was so scary. Um, that cat literally owes me its life. And I, so does whiskey because I'm sure he would have ran out in the street and, oh my gosh, it was horrible. Anyway, um, Rue had five houses today. Like most, um, liked most. So choice was hard. Oh, that's right. Thursday. Oh, Friday. She got locked in. There was a huge storm. And the last house of the night, the girls got, um, not locked in, but like there was a stay in place in motion. So they had to stay at that last house. So they took all the active members out of every single house. They took all the active members. They had to go up out of the room where all the rush girls were at every house. And, um, they were locked in there for like, I don't know, 45 minutes or something. I was dying. I was, oh my gosh, it was so bad. Anyway. Here is the boy in Chicago with my husband. He made it. Um, he and the boy had a great day. They're ready to race. He's ready to race tomorrow. Tomorrow, My husband called tonight and was really upset and frustrated. He could not get into his Airbnb. And he was in downtown Chicago. I could not help him. Um, it was kind of scary. He had to walk um, to like a crazy hotel in downtown Chicago and like get a room that night. And yeah, really bad not good, not good and kind of scary. So, all right. The 17th, this was Saturday. Uh, Rue had her like, uh, orientation for the college of education. So, so she had to do that. And then, um, this whole page right here is embossed behind here and this flips up. Yeah. Rue had her orientation today and then she had preference tonight, uh, the two houses. She, oh, I was like, that's not true. She was disappointed in her orientation. She thought it was lame, which is too bad. Uh, the boy and the team had a great day on the water. He's enjoying it and taking it all in. This is such an amazing opportunity. They are neck and neck with the number one team. Um, afterwards, they were in protest meetings and race committee for a very long time. And the boy took it all in. My husband sent pictures. What a long way he's come from racing Sabbaths in Naples and good luck tomorrow. So this is actually um, not college racing. This is uh, semi-professional racing. And he was asked to sail on someone else's boat um, as part of their crew. And so it's like an amazing experience for him. He's just super excited and taking it all in. It was just amazing to be part of it with the top sailors. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Okay. So um, here's a little Panda Express thing. It says, honor yourself and others will also honor you. Her two houses tonight were Kappa Kappa Gamma and Delta Zeta. It was hot today. It was hot today. Yep, Saturday. Oh, look at my beautiful girl. Um, she looked beautiful today. Preference. She got matched up with her top two. She's very excited. The choice was easier than she thought as one house actually touched her heart and she waited an hour to vote. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so that is, yeah, Saturday. Saturday. This is Sunday. So she got a bid and it was for Kappa, which is the house she wanted, which is just so exciting. So we waited and waited and waited at home while she texted. And I was like, oh my gosh, 
So no phone call means you did get a bid. So we are waiting to see if you get a phone call. That means you did not get a house match. And so that's the first thing. Every day there's like this emotional high and low thing. So anyway, there was no phone call, which means she did get a bid. So she got dressed and went off to the field where they get their envelope and you can't open it and all this kind of stuff. Um, and then waited for her bid. And then they all opened them and they ran home to her new house and she got her number one choice, Kappa Kappa Gamma. So there she is. So sweet. Um, yeah, this is a card that um, I know I've showed you guys. I took apart. This is probably a graduation card and I have been cutting them apart and like keeping the part that's written on or keeping the inside or whatever it is. And it was like so perfect because it's orange and it was like perfect for this this day. So excited to use it. Uh, and the boy had an amazing weekend. Um, their boat won. Like it was crazy. They won and they were not favored to win. He was so excited to be on that team with Holtz. Um, such an amazing weekend. He's so blessed to have these, this opportunity. I was like, can you believe this? So this is embossed right here. It's hard to see. It's um, like already on a pattern of paper, but uh, I did go to Aldi today. Oh, this was crazy. This is Sunday. I went to Aldi. I had to try it. I hear you guys talking about it. So I did try it. It was, it was pretty cool. Uh, very affordable. I told Rue she should try it. Um, on the way back, it was crazy because I was pulling out into the street and, you know, traffic's going and I can see on the other side of the street, this lady like wanting to to pull out and into traffic, right? And I'm waiting here to go right. Like this lady pulls out into traffic, blocks all these people. They're like honking. She pulls out like it's fast, but she pulls out and goes this way. And the cars going this way slam on their brakes. And this car just nails her. This poor lady like ran into the back of her. So I got out of my car. A few other people got out of their car. We made sure everyone was okay. But I actually wanted to make sure that someone and um, they two other people actually waited for the police to come. But I actually wanted to make sure someone was staying because like she was this way and technically like this way and this car coming just nails her. But this car is not at fault. Like this lady pulled out into traffic and I wanted to make sure. Anyway, it was horrible. I was like, it just, it's that fast. Like it's just that fast. It just makes you just so grateful. So anyway, um, that was, that was pretty hard. Um, okay. What else did I put in here? Yeah. I ran to the store and on the way, hor a horrible accident in front of me, I stopped and offered assistance. Another car. Yeah. And then when I got back to Shelby's house, the car died. I checked and it's out of oil. I walked. I walked, man. I took a pic. Oh, there's no picture of me. Uh, I am so proud of myself. These are the days. This is why I go to the gym. And my son said something to me too, as I'm lifting couches and carrying stuff and going up five flights. This is why I go to the gym. So, so I can do these things, right? So the car needs oil. I don't have a car. She's at this thing. She's at her bid day. Like I'm not going to call her and bother her and try and figure out. So I asked these guys, I'm like, where's the closest place I can get? And they're like, oh my God, it's like far. It's like two miles and it's hot. It's hot in Tennessee, at least for me. They're like, it's far. It's probably not walkable. Mind you, none of them offer me a ride. First of all, let me just say that about these young college boys. Not that I'd maybe get in the car. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, um, they're like, no, it's too far to walk. It's probably like a couple miles. And I was like, a couple miles, no problem. I was so like, I just like, my whole reason I go to the gym is so I can say yes. That's the whole reason. I want to say yes. You want to go for a hike? I want to say yes. You want me to lift something? I want to be able to say yes. You need something? Yes. I want to help the person in the airport. I want to be able to do the things. So I walked a couple miles to get oil and I walked a couple miles back in the heat um, carrying big bags and I was just like, yeah, this is awesome. This is why I go to the gym. So put the oil in the car. The car worked fine. A little foreshadowing there. But yeah. So um, after bid day, uh, Rue and I walked to the torch orientation. They have a huge orientation on campus for all um, freshmen and transfer students. So she had to go to that. Um, she left early. And then we walked like 30 minutes to the soccer game. 
she was pretty emotional. I was pretty emotional. Um, she really wanted to go see the girls' soccer game play. And the reason she wanted to play, see them is because Tennessee, the people they were playing, um, has a old teammate of hers on it from Montana that also left Montana and is playing. Um, I mean, she's not playing, but she's on the team anyway. Um, and then after that, we went and got ice cream with my, my friend from high school, his daughter goes to school there. And so I introduced them and we went to ice cream. It was just great. And I said, this little quote says, sometimes memories sneak out of my eyes and roll down my cheeks. Oh, so cute. All right. Emboss there. Yeah. Pretty emotional, pretty emotional over my babies this summer. (laughs) <laughs> here's the sign we made this it does not um the picture does not do it justice nor warrant the um exhaustion okay but I'm actually gonna put some glue on here but um she'd seen it on TikTok or wherever I guess everybody's made whatever we had to make the sign so there's the sign this is the first day of school it's Monday and she had school most of the day Um, and then that night she had online school, like her Monday night classes online. So I took the car, went and got us, um, pizza and dinner for the house and came back. And I actually was like on the couch with her. Here's whiskey doodle dog. Um, I'm on the couch with her on the porch, um, at her first class or at her first night class that day. Her other classes were during the day, but anyway, um, Yep. And then that's, that's my sweet Rue on her first day of junior year. She's now a volunteer and there's whiskey with his new volunteer banner on his new, um, you know, what do you call it? Bandana. Sorry. And then here's another prompt from sweet Lydia. This is a Monday prompt and it says, write out the things you're grateful for from today. Ooh, gonna cry. I'm emotional over this. You guys, my list is simple. It's my family. We're so blessed, um, to be able to do what we do. Um, to be with both kids as they start this new chapter. I'm grateful they have good people around them and I'm grateful we have love and a strong relationship. I'm grateful for my marriage and my job that allows the schedule and I'm grateful that we are healthy. This was um, Happy Mail and it is perfect use today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so I'm tucking that in, tucking that in. This little thing um, I embossed right here kind of looks like a business card. So I tucked that in there. This was stuck here, but it's pulling. So I'm not too sure it wants to be stuck there. I might just leave it loose. Uh, and then I packed, I packed that night. Oh, and then Tuesday, um, we left her house at like five 30 or six. I can't remember. Yeah. Cause I left on the airplane at eight. It feels so good to be home. I'm exhausted. I'm so glad I could make this trip, but I can't wait to sleep in my own bed and eat regular food. And this was like a picture. This is someone, this is not my artwork. This was like a screenshot off pen, like, you know, Pinterest or something. If it's yours, please let me know. It, like I said, it was just a screenshot that was in my photos. Um, after Rue dropped me off, she called and said her car died again. And so we waited and waited like, cause I was like, that's weird. It just died the other day and we put oil in it. Like, are you sure? Let's get it to the mechanic. So, um, the tow truck came and had it towed to the mechanic and, and they said it, it died. It's dead. The car's dead. Done. Like can't be fixed. We could replace the whole engine. I don't even know. And I'm so grateful that like it got her to Tennessee safely. She and my husband, it could have broken down like on the road. You know what I mean? Like, um, I'm also super grateful. It broke down like basically in front of her house, same as it did for me, which is really weird. Um, but anyway, she was safe. Like, I'm just so grateful for that. So anyway, um, so, okay. So that's the car. Rue dropped me off at the airport. The car broke down. Yeah, the car's done. The car is done. Okay. So that's that. This is my first, this is my boy's first day of his master's program. The previous two weeks were like orientation, uh, all day, eight to five type thing, eight to three, whatever. But, uh, this was actually first day of class for his, um, accelerated, um, master's program. Yep. First start of his MBA. Oh, so cool. So cool. So he actually has an internship on top of this as well as sailing still. So, 
Um, it's a busy, busy time as well as a relationship. Um, and then my daughter, I love, I love this so much. Um, she carries this little flashlight on her keychain and it's actually like a, um, you know, a thing you shock people with. (laughs) I'm here for it. I love this embossing so much. And I am so like, I love that it matches this paper. I was so thrilled when I found this. Anyway, um, this is Wednesday. It's my first day back. I got gas at Costco. I threw out the receipt. I don't know. I could put it, I document it in my phone. Um, so I could probably find that. Let me see gas on 821. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, I started work today. That's right. Oh my gosh. That's right. I had one day off. Um, I picked up a contract to cover someone else's program for a week. So I started work today for coverage. Yeah. At the little kids, children's just uh, developmental center. Oh my gosh. They're stinking cute. It took me forever to get logged in. They've replaced all of our systems and like, oh, it was a horrible thing. Um, um, it was a good day. It's easy. I got gas on my way home. I grabbed a burrito. Yep. Oh, and I'm still sick. I didn't even write that. I was sick in Tennessee. I got sick. I mean, who would have thought all the germs from two different, two different states and 500 different people. Um, so nothing much more to write, right? I just left this. I just love it so much. Uh, let's see. I bought a coffee and lunch on base because I have nothing in the refrigerator. Um, yep. There's the burrito wrapper. Okay. This is the next day. This is a fun embossing. It's actually a card, like the size of a card and you're supposed to put like a stamp here, like for Christmas or something. It came in a Christmas set, but I just did it and put the picture this way. Got a sweet pick from, um, my son and his girlfriend. They went to the river dog game tonight and so glad they're having fun. Proud of him for balancing all of his stuff. Um, oh, this was a sweet note from a child. Yeah. And, um, she made me this note. She's five. And she is leaving the child center and going to kindergarten at my school where I work. And so she made me this note. So I was excited to see her. I got a sweet gift in the mail from my company today. Sweet little note. And um, from the company, it felt good. I'm sad summer's over. I'm excited. Um, What did I put here? I'm excited to see the Kings and excited to start. Oh, I think this is kids. What am I doing? Uh, Kids, kids. All right. And excited to start the school year. Uh, My husband and I both worked. Uh, Oh, I headed to the banks after work, taking care of money and deposits for the boy, still working on estate stuff for my dad. Oh, and we read Fernadad today. I made this page with you guys. Um, It was a great time in class. It was a favorite book and it brought back great memories. And they threw out the book cover. That's why I have it. (laughs) <laughs> the teacher threw out the book cover because it was like ripped. One of the kids had ripped it or whatever. And I look, I'm at a job. They don't even know me. I'm covering for someone else. And I gently go over and like dig that out of the trash as I'm walking out of the room. And like, I'm, I'm hoping they don't think I'm crazy, but whatever. All right. Here's another prompt from sweet Lydia. It's a Friday prompt and it says, write about something blue from your day. Um, and I just put, Today was a welcome relief, no work, so I got to stay home. Oh, yeah, I got to stay home. It was the perfect day. The sky is overcast blue, yeah, and cold drizzle. I stayed in sweats and had a wonderful, cozy day catching up on this journal. So it was cloudy today, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, I had picked up the contract to um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, and then I found out that this day was a training day for all their staff, so it was actually shut down. There was no children there, so they didn't need me. And they were like, well, we could send you to this other site and do this other thing. I was like, no, it's okay. I'll just not work that day. It's completely fine. (laughs) All right. Let's see. Um, Oh, (laughs) Um, the boy got his new shelf and hat rack that I had ordered him through Amazon and I got rat poison. Oh, it says I ordered rat poison, selfie paper, a new sleep mask with headphones, and they'll be here tomorrow. So, um, I don't know. That's obviously from a different envelope. Here is um, a little tea from tonight. It says, good talk with the boy. And he's ordering more dress shirts um, and a new computer screen for his internship. All right. The next day, there's my rat poison. Yeah, we have rats in our garage. Uh Uh-huh. 
yeah, they have to go. They can't, we can't cohabitate. They can't live here. I, I've done everything holistic I can to allow them to leave. And we've done the noise things and the whatever things and the blah, blah, blah things. And they can't live in the garage. They have to go. So that's just all I'm going to say. Here's my embossed thing back here. My husband sent me pictures of the work he's doing. It's super cool. Um, I had a good talk with Rue. Um, everything's going well. And, um, she, she had to change one of her classes already, which we knew, we knew cause she picked up too many. And so anyway, so that's going well and we're researching trucks. Yeah. Researching new trucks. I mean, used trucks, but new truck to her, right? Cause we're still trying, we have to replace her car at this point. So my husband worked today, a uh, cool row row ship. He loves these. I got to journal and watch movies. What is today? Oh, it's Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Got to, um, I filmed two videos and put off adulting for as long as possible. It's cold and rainy. It's the perfect day to stay home all day. He got home at 4.30 and I put out the, the mice bait. Yep. All right. Sunday, the 25th. Time to clean. We worked on the house today. Laundry towels, kitchen, bathrooms, bedroom. Home is where you are. Yeah, I love being home with him. Um, yeah, sometimes just staying home and like, having the house reset up is good, right? Here's a little piece of embossing I added up here. Here's my yogurt from the day. Spent the day at home, felt good to get grounded and space is clean. I mean, that's it folks. That's literally what we did. There may have been football on. Um, and then here is what was today. Oh, I worked. I remember what today was. I worked at the child center today. Here's the embossed piece right here. And then, um, tonight was open house back to school. And so I hustled over there, had a good day working, was able to go to the open house and see the kids and help them adjust to teachers and classes tonight. And then my husband spent time putting together his draft team today. He loves fantasy football and it's cool. He does it um, with the boy. So my son and like some of his friends and their dads or whatever, um, and my son's, well, and some girls, the girls do it too. But anyway, uh, my husband's in that league with them. Here's Tuesday, the 27th. This is actually embossed. I know when I made this page with you, um, I told you, can you hear it? Yeah, it's like waxy embossed. It's pretty cool. Um, this was a, yep, happy mail and it was perfect. So I put it in here and this is like from happy mail. Yeah, I love it. Tuesday, the 27th. So I included it in here, a sweet note from Robin. Thank you so much. And, um, this was on my locker when I was covering this week. So I took it with me. This was my last day with the kids. And um, this was from Happy Mail. This one's from Deidre. Oh, yeah, because I got a Happy Mail. I got two that's night, that night, right? And then um, I put last day at the Child Center and I put this little girl on there. And then, oh, let's see. Work, thrift, drop off. So did I not journal? I feel like I journaled. I'll double check. Um, I'm going to double check when I have you off camera. This is the 27th. Uh, what's something you love about getting older? Did I write that? What do I enjoy about being older? It's my calmness regarding life experiences and having hindsight. Yep. Simple little answer. I know, but like knowing that each thing is not the end of the world, right? Like each thing, I don't know, like I enjoy having that wisdom in my humble opinion um, that like this too shall pass. Yeah. All right. Uh, the next day. Yeah. You can see these pages are getting really bowed, right? And some are shorter than others anyway, but, um, and it may be that it was longer on this side. It doesn't matter, but uh, here's the first day of school. So here's me in my office and like not decorated at all because yeah, um, we don't actually start work until the first day of school. So uh, first day back at work, it was great to see all the kids, meet lots of new ones, getting to know them, uh, getting to know my new office and roommate, um, had fun setting up the room. Must have gotten tacos. This was just a like strip of collage stuff from the end of probably the previous month that I had on my desk. So I put that in there. Where is my embossed? Oh, right here. This strip right here is embossed behind here. All right. The next day I did another prompt from Lydia. It's Thursday. It says, take a pretty picture of your photo in your journal and stick it in. And so I did. I love it so much. 
Uh, I just thought that was really fun. And I put this embossed thing here. And then over here, it says the boy um, had day one of tryouts today. Oh, this was a funny day. Um, the boy had try uh, day one of tryouts today. Super cool. He gets another year to sail. Um, my husband went to the doctor for a well check. He got a shingles vaccination. He had, uh, we had a great dinner. Oh, we had a great dinner tonight with my parents' dear friends. They were in town from California and oh, like lifelong friends. And it was great. And then my daughter had her first sailing meeting. Um, yeah, the University of Tennessee has a sailing club. And so we were, you know, joking with the kids because if my son's going to get to sail again, um, Tennessee shows up to some of the regattas they're in anyway. And we were like, Rue, you've, you've got to join because they both sailed growing up. They both sailed and they both played soccer and then they had to, you know, choose. So, um, I, we were like, Rue, you got to go. You, like you guys could show up to the same regatta. Like it would be amazing. We could all go, you know, and, uh, cause they haven't raced against each other since they were like eight and 10 or something. I don't even know. But anyway, um, oh my gosh, we were dying. So she goes to the meeting and like, I mean, it's very low key. And so they were talking about like, who's ever sailed a boat before and who's, and so she and a couple other people raised their hand. They're like, great, you're on the team. <laughs> and so we were joking with my son because, um, we were laughing cause they actually have tryouts, you know, or whatever. I was like, geez, I hope you make it, you know, cause like, anyway, we were all giggling so bad. So she's not going to do it this semester cause they're not actually going to sign up for regattas until next semester. So she was going to go to a practice, but is deciding that's probably not how she wants to spend her Friday nights. I don't even know. It's hilarious though. But anyway, so that was the first day there. Uh, okay. The next day was my son's girlfriend's birthday. He got her this thing and decorated the apartment. I was like, good boy, good boy, good boy. Doing a good job. Uh, here's the embossed thing behind there. <laughs> and this is Friday of the first week of school. And I put, I was, I, look, I work two days at the child center. I only work three days at the school. And I just put, I'm not, I'm not made to work nine to five. I was made to swim in turquoise water, drink out of a coconut and chill in a villa by the ocean, like for real. So anyway, here's a little um, tag from um, a card that I got her. Uh, let's see. I weighed in today and called MD office since Monday is a holiday. Oh yeah. Cause he wanted me to call in on Monday. And then I realized I couldn't do that. All right. Happy Friday. I made it through the first week. Woo woo. Uh, my husband's, oh, he's super sick. He is super sick from that vaccination. So scary. He worked a double shift up in Seattle and he would not go home. Uh, I got home about nine o'clock at night. We both decided no gym tonight and I'm exhausted. Not sure how we feel about going back or what the other choice would be if we're not going back to the gym. Got text um, from my, the girlfriend's mom and um, how cute our son is to do that. She was so excited and he decorated the apartment. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a piece of paper that was like, um, in the teacher's lounge or whatever. Yeah. And I guess I did a clean off the craft desk and then it's the 31st. Oh, we got to, uh, babysit our friend's dog from the gym. He was here, started watching breaking bad. I never thought I'd like it, but, um, was suggested to me again and I enjoyed it. I have hence quit it has like five seasons. I don't know. Like if you've watched it, let me know. I'm at like two and a half. I, I'm not too sure. Like it's kind of the same thing. It's like continual whatever. And I don't know. Let me know if you did the whole thing and you think I need to finish it. Let me know. All right. I made my September journal today. This is a little piece of embossed here. Uh, and then, oh, this is a fun day. It's Saturday. This is my Rue's first football game at University of Tennessee. They had people at the house here, here are roommates. She got tickets for the first game of the year. She's so, so excited for her. We watched on TV. So cool. I love football season and I love college ball. I get, oh, and this was in happy mail. Isn't that fun? Woo! Look at that. I put it on there. It's like, go Vols. Um, I, oh, I think this is the day I should write here. I'll check. I think when I made this, I think this is the first day my husband brought me back a coffee and it was pumpkin. I think this was my first pumpkin coffee. Even though I told him I didn't need one, he brought me one anyway, because mm, he's my guy. Um, 
what I should write on here is my poor little Rue was almost had heat exhaustion. It was so hot and there were so many thousands and thousands of people. They actually left early and, um, the heat and everything else. But anyway, super cool. And that's the end of August. I have a pocket back here that I, you know, use during the month to put stuff in and that's it, you guys. So what do you think? How was your August? I know it was a bit ago, but gosh, what fun. And I still love this journal. If I were to do it again, um, I would try maybe not to use all the scrapbook paper. It makes it pretty thick. And I might, uh, I might do two signatures. I might tie it in again. I'm not too sure, but if not, you know, you could definitely put, uh, you know, stitch it in. I don't know, but I love this pillowcase. So that's another month in my life documented and ready for the shelf. So thanks for being here. You guys, let me know how your journaling's going. Tell me what you think. Tell me about if you watching the shows or doing the things or, um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I appreciate you being here. I love this community so much. I am grateful that we get to share our days together and, um, I hope you are having great days and I hope you have something today that inspires you. Take care.